six to five days off so I can just go ahead and jet set on off to like, you know, Florida or the, like the Keys or an island somewhere that's close by. I can be sipping on my non-alcoholic drink. <laughs> guys this is Donna welcome back to my channel so please take a moment right now if you haven't already done so go ahead and subscribe look around my channel if you like what you see then absolutely subscribe um, and hit that notification bell so that you can see every single time I put up a new video this video is going to be kind of sort of an answer to a question that I received it was asked like how what is the lifestyle of a PA like? So I'm not a PA yet, you know, I will be a PA in a couple of months, but I am a PA student, but I can talk about how I imagine the lifestyle to be because I do know PAs. Um, I've seen PAs on all my rotations and I've talked to them about their lifestyle and it's pretty sweet um, if I do say so myself. So I'm excited about this. I imagine the lifestyle to be great. Uh, honestly, like as a PA, you can find the type of job that you want, be it like nine to five, eight to four, outpatient stuff. You're just kind of seeing people in the office. Or if you want inpatient, you can work in the uh, hospital setting as like a hospitalist, as any of the special subspecialty PAs, as an emergency medicine PA, trauma PA, whatever the case may be. And those shifts will vary as well, be it, you know, two 24s or in or three 24s you know bi-weekly or two 24s bi-weekly yeah two 24s bi-weekly so it can be six shifts in a month or eight shifts in a month or if you want to do three 12s or four 10s whatever you want to make your life look like there is a, a pa job for you so it's really exciting honestly the possibility that you have um, for me, how I imagine my life being is getting a really nice job as an OBGYN PA, only working six times out of the month, and then also getting a job as, you know, like moonlighting as an urgent care PA working PRN, so I can pick up as many shifts as I want, but I'm only obligated to, I think it's two shifts a month. I would have a lot of time to spend with my family, you know, spend with my kids, because I have little kitties. Adana, look at her! Look at Mimi, look at your sister. Whoa! Uh-oh. Oh, this is good. Boom, are you okay? You gotta put your foot out like this. Good job, Mimi, good job. All right, let's go to a different one. Very good job, I'm proud of you, Mimi. Also, I want to be able to travel because I haven't really been able to do a lot of that as I've been in PA school and then just even prior because, you know, life kind of hits. But I feel like as a PA, my job and my schedule would afford me the time to do that. So I literally see myself like just kind of like working, you know, maybe I work my one shift for that week as the OBGYN because I have to um, PA because I have to go ahead and work two shifts like in another week and I have like six to five days off so I can just go ahead and jet set on off to like, you know, Florida or the, like the Keys or an island somewhere that's close by. I can be sipping on my non-alcoholic drink. <laughs> Sipping on my virgin pina colada with my little umbrella, um, you know, have my little sunshades on and I'm at a beach somewhere just relaxing, enjoying my life. And then I come back and work my two shifts and I can spend time with my kids. But literally, I honestly, I expect it to be pretty nice. The salaries that PAs get, you know, it's nothing to laugh at, you know, you're making six figures a year uh, and depending on the type of lifestyle that you're trying to live, you know, six figures is good. If you're trying to live like high roller, high style, you can work more hours and get more money and then that way you're able to do more. You know, you can provide for your family more than if you just wanted to do like 
what your typical PA would do, you know, making like maybe 106,000 or so dollars a year. Uh, and that's like before any types of raises or, or benefits or bonuses or things like that. So I honestly think that um, not only will I be able to help provide for my family, you know, I'll be able to see them more so I can appreciate the provision that I'm giving to them because a lot of times I feel like as parents or just individuals, even like kids for the parents trying to provide for the, their parents, we're so caught up in like, I need to do this for my family. I gotta provide for my family, but you don't get to see your family. So all this providing that you're doing and you don't know who your family is, you don't know your kids, you are not really seeing them grow up, you don't get to see your, your parents. So it's like, what's the point in that? And that's not what I want. What I want is to be able to see everybody, uh, be able to see my kids grow up and also enjoy like my vacation time or maybe I'm skiing on the slopes somewhere. <laughs> or snowboarding I don't know I don't know but those that is literally what I imagine I imagine it to be very nice again I want to get a job that is just kind of super I'm like in and out but I do want a job that is both inpatient and outpatient because I like that patient interaction so whatever it is that I get into you best believe like that is what I'm going to be doing. Something where I get to interact with patients, we get to build that relationship, provider-patient re relationship, but at the same time, uh, I get the medicine because I really like the medicine of things. But that is it. That's how I imagine the life um, of a PA or my life as a PA. Uh, if you have any specific questions, uh, I can either answer them for you or point you in the right direction. Go ahead and leave that in the comment section below. Uh, if you haven't already done so, go ahead and follow me on Instagram and subscribe like this video you guys um, tell me what you imagine life of a PA being and um, what you would want your life to be as a PA as well what you want your schedule to be uh, I'd be happy to look at those I really am interested in that uh, thank you guys so much for watching I will talk to you guys next time bye